All right, you guys, welcome back to another video. It is your girl, Didi. And as you can see, again, by the title, we are going to be doing um, how to create stickers using, of course, Canva. Um, this is my go-to. This is everything I go to to kind of create anything that I want to create. Um, so I kind of already did my stickers, and I kind of want to show you guys how I did everything. So go ahead and keep on watching. Okay, so the first thing you'll want to do is you basically want to, um, I already did mine, but you will go basically to the customized size. Let me actually do that. So let's do create a size. It will say custom size and you're putting whatever size sticker that you're using. And this is my thermal printer and I'm just basically creating stickers for that. So 2.25 and 1.25, and you want to put it in inches. So when it comes up like that, just go ahead and redo it. 2.25, 1.25. And again, it's whatever size sticker that you have, it will show. Like I get mine off of Amazon, so it will show you exactly what the measurements are. You want to put that inside of here. So when you're doing it with your thermal printer and when you're creating your design, you want to make sure that you're creating it on the correct size. So like right here, this is just a blank. Um, so I'm just gonna kind of go back to editing how I was doing on here. So this one is just a fragile handle with care. I'm gonna go ahead and just actually duplicate the, duplicate the page. And well, no, no, I'm gonna actually do the whole thing how I did it. So I'm gonna add a page. I'm gonna add the text. And this one I'm gonna put fragile. And I want to make this one as big as I can because, again, we already know that this is our size. So, you know, you can only keep it inside of here. So, I'm going to do fragile. And I'll put that kind of in the middle. I don't know. Do y'all have it to where sometimes you feel like you just misspelled something? Because I know I feel that all the time. So, this one is... Fragile. Oh my God, I did this absolutely wrong. Hold on. Sorry. Handle with care. Sorry about that. Handle with care. And a thermal only prints out black. So I kind of try to put everything black. That way I kind of know how everything is. So you kind of just go ahead and just play around with it to your liking. I'm going to change the font to Mixa. This is my favorite font that I like to use. So I'm going to go ahead and do it like that. And see, so you can have it just like this, which again, I have it like that. This one is actually more bigger. I'll probably go with this one. And then this one right here that says Fragile Handle with Care. What we can do with this one, since we just created this, we duplicate it and I just go over here to elements and I just put in heart and this is the heart that I use and then just put it black and get it to whatever size that you want to get it to and yeah you kind of just play around with it whatever works for you go ahead and do that um, I'm gonna go ahead and speed up the video um, while I'm kind of playing around with it. So now we're done with that one. I actually like that one. So we did that. And then this one right here, it says, thank you for supporting my small business. So I'm going to go ahead and go to text. Put it in again. I'm switching my font to Mixer because this is the one that I like. Make it as big as you can. And Canva is like really easy. I do have the pro 
Um, so like as you can see right here, it says free. So if you don't pay monthly for it, then you can get this free. Um, like this one right here, it says, let me kind of move down. You see this one right here, it says pro. You will have to actually pay for that to be able to use. Um, I've used Canva, so I feel like it's worth it with me paying. Um, I believe it's, it's around 13 or I'm not sure. I have to look. Um, it's something like that a month that you pay for. And I, I use it a lot, so I kind of get my money's worth. Um, but again, we're going to put thank you for supporting my small business. Go to Elements. And I am going to use my social media platforms that I have. So I'm going to put Instagram first. You can do Instagram icon or Instagram. I'm going to choose black because, again, the ink already comes out as black. So I want to make sure I'm keeping it how it looks. I don't know why this font doesn't look right to me. It doesn't look like the one I like. Okay. Instagram. Um, TikTok. And you see the boxes letting you know that it's lined up. What else did I use? I use Twitter, but mine is mostly, I can use Pinterest because I do have an account on Pinterest. trying to line it up okay then I'm going to add my website which is flawless boss collections .com. again I'm gonna switch that font just like that I don't know why it doesn't look right. But anyways, you can have it just like this and kind of keep playing around with it, whatever works for you. Okay. And then this one right here. I'm gonna duplicate it. And I'm going to just basically copy off the same thing like this. Oops. So handmade. Make that super big. And then what font did I use? Okay, I used that font. I just wanted to make sure that I'm using the correct font. So you go to text. And then put width. That already capitalized with love. Bring it right here. Change my font. Make it bigger. Center it. And kind of just keep playing around with it. Um, I went to Elements and this one was actually already in here, but I'm pretty sure if you put the flower. I just put it like that. I kind of was playing around with it. I'm not sure if I would keep it like that, but I kind of was just playing around with that one. Handmade with love. I can even go ahead and like put my website on here, or I can put the at sign. Okay, that's nice. 
something like that one. Then I have it like this as well, which will be just putting the font that I just had it as. Just like that. Same thing with this one. This package is fragile. Open up a new one. this font y'all I don't know, you kind of just play around with it. And you can also go ahead and upload um, your logo. So it's, the logo will be just like this. I have, I use this um, where I have a white logo. So you can use it like this. And yeah, this is it. So this is how I make my stickers I'm using Canva. Again, the size is 2.25 by 1.25 in inches. And then you just go ahead and download everything. And then, which will be right here. So you'll click download. And I already saved it, but I'm saving it again to show you guys. So then once it download, it will pop up for me like it's, it's almost done. And then you basically just put your put sticker too. Yep. And then you just basically just put your stuff into the thermal printer and then you click print. Mm -hmm.